Hi, folks. I just want to say, God bless America. God bless this earth we live on. We are in peril. There's climate change. There's a war going on. And people are basically fighting amongst each other in the streets. There are robberies. There's murders being committed. And there's a lot of hate here in America and overseas. No matter, no matter where. If we don't stop it, we are going to kill ourselves. As for taking gun control, I say everyone should carry guns in America and elsewhere. Well, listen, overseas they carry guns all over the place. In Afghanistan, Iran, Tehran, all over the place there, they carry guns. Make it, it's no difference. We just got to get, put a lid on automatics and carry 38s. Why not? I, the world is changing, people. The world has been changing for some time now, and it's getting worse. I say to those officers, police officers, you're doing a wonderful job. It's all politics now. It's all politics. And you got auxiliary police officers, volunteers that are with the police department, and all should carry 38s, not automatics. Get rid of those wooden batons. Those are outdated. If anyone sees or hears things, call your local police departments. Now, if we go into World War Three, I want to know from our government here in the United States, especially with gun controls and everything in each city, if and when another nation drops in on us, are we going to hit them with pots and pans? Doesn't ha an individual have the right to protect their families? With guns? And any other weapons? Well, answer that. If we get attacked by Russia, that Putin is... Basically lost his marbles. And no one wants to go after him. He's threatening the UK. London. He's threatened to uh, take back Alaska. He's uh, threatening to launch a nuclear weapon. And also North Korea. So if any one of these nations, like China too come dropping in on us don't we have a right to protect ourselves and we're going to do this with pots and pans I like to see the re the uh, people that are doing this in Congress and elsewhere in the cities put them on the front lines when they drop in w or, uh, with machine guns and tanks and you can't protect yourself only with a pot and pan Grow up, people. Each individual should have a gun. And the age, well, should be at least 21. I don't think social media is going to say a whole lot. Now, the profiles, yes. I can see. You could open up a... Um, Facebook or Twitter or any one of these new uh, media outlets out there online and look and check out 
what's going on with the individual. But it's not going to say a lot. It's not going to say much. You, you, you need a, a therapist and a psychiatrist to, to look into a lot of things. Look. Look on YouTube. Officers are getting arrested too by other officers. I don't think that's good. That doesn't make America. I think officers should not arrest officers. That's a whole different ball game. I can see a, a violent crime, but drinking and driving? Come on now. The guys wear the blue. Do not put a reputation out there. Do not arrest each other. That's no good. It's like sanitation. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Arrest that firefighter. Arrest that uh, a sanitation worker. He's doing the wrong job. Arrest that firefighter. He's in the middle of the street putting out a fire. That happened in Vegas many times. I think once or twice. I saw it on YouTube. That's crazy. You're working for the city. You're trying to make a living. Don't do that to each other. Don't. Here in New York, I don't see uh, NYPD arresting NY NYPD. And they shouldn't. We have the greatest police forces here in the United States. Don't ruin it for each other. Don't arrest each other. Take it off your body cams. In the 80s, they didn't have any body cams at all. All these new technologies and everything. I think it's going to everybody's head. Go back to your ways. Officers. Police departments. Go back to the 80s. Old fashioned policing. That's what we need to bring back. Old fashioned policing. Get advice from others that retired out there they know better they know how to do patrols they know how to do everything back then now it's like <laughs> the wild wild west oh wait I gotta stop that officer he's one of ours he's drunk come on now don't do that we all gotta think we all gotta think and we gotta think about this planet And we've got to think about those people that's being held in Russia. Like Brittany Gaynor, the basketball player. She's being held in Russia and other Americans. We need to get them out. We've got to do it now. We can't have a, a Americans being taken. That's wrong. I saw the video. Everybody's seen the video. Of Gaina going to the airport and... No. And finding that stuff. Come on. So that's, that's nothing. She was not the... Uh, basically uh, selling it. It's for herself. We gotta understand this. We can't have this. We gotta stop this war. We've got to take the ones that are really bad, that are presidents in the United and the other nations, and get rid of them. Put them in jail. There's jails for them. Anyway, we've got to ch turn things around. And I say to each and every officer, do not arrest each other. Don't. You know? Don't. The jails are, are meant for murderers. Serial killers. You know? It's like... It's out of control now. This is a YouTube uh, channel I watched. About Jeremy DeWitt. In Florida. Sure, he broke the law many times. But if you look at it like I did, 
He needs professional help. Medical and mental help services. Yelling at others on the road. Now, for a long time, he did this. I say he got away with it for 10 years. They should have took his driver's license, his business away from him, or let somebody else run the business. The officers tried to help him in Florida. Hats off with you guys. You know, hats off. But he didn't um, follow what they were, you know, telling him. But then again, he was following them. I've seen it many times. You know, the stress gets to a person. It does. But telling many lies gets you nowhere. And that's Jeremy DeWitt. I see. Everybody has to watch that those videos. You'll be shocked. The officers did a great job in handling t the situation, but... They should have stopped it before it got worse. You know, not everybody's like him. Anyway, I just want to say, let's change things around. And to all those people that are in the auxiliary police, they need to be armed. The you got to upgrade those batons, wooden batons. Come on, that's like the 1930s. No. A wooden baton is not going to stop a bullet. Please. Arm the auxiliaries. They need to be armed. In each city. Things change. And please. You all your offices over there. From LA to New York. To Hawaii. Boston. Chicago. Don't arrest each other. Don't. Including Canada. Don't. Don't arrest another officer. There's a lot of stress out there. A lot. And it's all politics now. You know it. So. God bless. You guys got family. God bless you all. God bless America. And God bless the whole entire planet. God bless.